We're at Trans Video Studios in Mountain View, California, which is where they make all those cool videos that uh, introduce products and companies to you for Google and Mint and all sorts of other things. You've seen them all over YouTube, and today we're going to find out how Trans Video Studios does it. Who are you? Uh, I'm Rico Andrade. I am the executive producer here at Transvideo Studios. I've been here for 13 years now, and I was a uh, computer science major who decided to not program after coming out of college and start doing video work for tech companies instead. And who are you? Uh, I'm Dave Sabin. I, uh, I'm the producer and post-production supervisor here at Transvideo Studios. Um, I, I'm a former English major who uh, got sidetracked into a, a life of video and fun. These product introduction videos, tell me about some of the work you've done. Transvideo's been here for 30 years. We've been doing videos for tech companies in Silicon Valley for you know, a really long time. And we've had in the studio that we're in right now on the sound stage since 81. And one of the things that has been a part of the business has always been doing these videos that talk about what the company does. And especially with the uh, increase of number of videos that you see online and the cost of making the videos and posting them, uh, more and more tech companies started seeing the return in creating a simple video that explains what they do, you know, what we would call it an overview video, and you, you, you're seeing them more and more on the web, you know, more and more pages have uh, a video right on their home page that they can click and explains their product. And we've been doing that for a really, really long time, actually. Uh, we're lucky enough to be part of doing them for Google back in 2007, right before they got acquired by YouTube, and it gave us this incredible yeah, opportunity. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, before YouTube, before they got acquired from uh, by Google, and it gave us this incredible opportunity to do thousands, literally thousands of videos and all this testing uh, about you know what works, what didn't work, and some some stuff was way out there, but some stuff really hit and started kind of showing us like there's there's legs to this. And uh, um, but much more recently, over the last three or four years, we created this. Uh, we were doing so much creative and design work. Um, even though Transvideo historically was a production broadcast company, that we decided to brand those videos separately. You know, anything that involved the creative and design work uh, is now part of our Picture Lab division, which is our creative team in-house. Very cool. Yeah. These videos are usually, what, two minutes long, something like that? They're usually under 90 seconds, and there's a lot of reason for that. Um, for the most part, we just, you know, the data is pretty clear that if you go over 90 seconds, there's just this drop off in number of viewers. And you, you want people to watch your video. You want them to get to the end because you want them to get to this call to action that says, you go click on this or try out this or download this. And so um, we usually highly, highly recommend that they be under 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. Tell me, uh, uh, these things are usually twenty to $100,000 to do. Uh, tell me a little bit about the pricing and, mm -hmm. and then how do we start this process? What, what's the process like? Sure. Um, you can expect, if you're going to do a video with us for the first time, it's probably going to be, you, you can expect to spend over $20,000. And um, the process of making it is we want uh, to have, once we agree you know, to do a video, we want to meet our team to meet your team. And we want to learn everything about your product. We want to learn you know, what you guys do, what your value proposition is, who you're targeting, uh, who who your competitors are, how you guys are similar, how you're different, what's worked you know, for you in the past, so that we can really understand and get to the root of, okay, if, you, if these are the type of people you're trying to be more likely to try out your product, this is the approach that we would take. Um, and we'd like to work backwards from an existing brand, if there is one, or just develop something that's tone perfect for you know, the company that we're working for. So we don't try not to do this, you know, the sketchy cartoon drawings or cutouts if that's not appropriate. You know, if it is appropriate, we're more than happy to do it. Um, Can we see it in an example so we have some context sure. of what these things look like? Uh, so let's go, a prominent one right now is uh, the one on the homepage of mint.com. Uh, this is a fairly keep typical track layout. of your of financial happens, life? Uh, when someone does a video, there's a... Statements, spreadsheets, scribbles. It's time for something better something easier, something smarter. 
Mint is a free, easy way to manage your money that empowers you to take charge of your financial life. Get started with a simple one-time setup. Add your bank, credit card, home loan, and investment accounts. Mint quickly and securely pulls in the information and organizes it for you. That's it. No more bookkeeping. Mint keeps it all up to date. You can see all your accounts in one place, with one login, anywhere, anytime. So the, you can see you're using a lot of imagery that we don't use on our show, right? Because this mm -hmm. costs computing ta time, mm -hmm. artist time. Tell me a little, take me through one of these videos and sort of explain how you got to this point and mm -hmm. how you made this happen and how mm -hmm. many weeks it took. Right. We're a full production uh, house, so we... Uh, we, we take it from from concept, we do all the writing, uh, and then the design, and all the way through to distribution. A project generally starts with you know, the client coming to us, and we, we learn as much as we can about that particular product. We, we do our homework, we, we find out what the client needs, and, and come at it from a perspective of what a, uh, what a customer might want out of this as well. Um, from there, we submit concepts and style frames. Um, what so are style frames? Just pictures, probably single frames of what you would see in the final video. So, uh, for example, in this one, uh, you know, I think we submitted like eight uh, style frames, um, just laying out the general concept of of, uh, of what you would see at different points in the video. You get the gist of what it might look like yeah. without actually having to build everything out. So essentially establishing the design element of it. Um, from there, with approval, we, we build in, uh, on storyboards. And we create storyboards for the clients to, to look at and approve, uh, again, in conjunction with the script that we're writing. And uh, once that's approved, we, we just go ahead and start the animation. And uh, like you know, all, all the projects we do, we submit you know, rough cuts and fine cuts and, and final cuts. Uh, if there's a a tight uh, situation where we know we're going to launch in two months. Can you get a, what 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 do you like to have as in terms <laughs> of a working uh, time schedule and and what's the you know if they pay extra what can they actually get? Out of <laughs> <you>? <laughs> uh, well, you know that's that's most of our our clientele is our, you know people come to us with a launch already in place frequently even before their product is you know finalized. Um, so that, that is very difficult for us because uh, we, we've faced a lot of uh, UI changes at the last minute, but uh, we're very adaptable to our, our clients' needs. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we do what it takes to, to, to finish the product in time, and uh, we have a really great record of doing that. Now, I've seen some of these kinds of videos used on stage at conferences to intro help introduce right. a product or mm -hmm. a company. Um, do you work differently for for a big screen in front of an, a sitting audience mm -hmm. as compared to YouTube? Well, in, in terms of the resolution and production value, it's the same because we just provide you with a 1080p file that they can use on YouTube, but it can also be used in presentations and you know launch events and things like that. Um, if we know a video specifically just for a conference, we will design it differently usually from the start because the, the needs are different. Like these overview videos are meant specifically for increasing click-through conversions of the, you know, pretty much like the organic traffic that comes to a site. You just want to make it more likely that they'll try your product. Yeah. So there's a certain flow. But if you're going to be at an, a conference for, you know, professionals who don't need that level of explanation or want to know more of the, you know, the specific thing that you're doing or just want, you know, a big kickoff video, you know, a rah-rah, let's get excited about what's about to come, you know, the, the, the design is going to be different. Yeah. These, these videos really force the team to think through their story. Frequently, the questions that we ask of, of our clients helps them focus their own marketing. And um, I got to say that, you know, art directors uh, at these different companies, they love us because uh, we, we bring to them uh, ideas and perspectives that they perhaps haven't thought of before. So uh, sometimes this whole process, just, just working it out, how do you explain a simple message, a very quick message, you know, 90 seconds, um, how do you encapsulate that and, and get to the core of what really matters? Yeah. How, 
Um, what makes a great conversion? Have you studied the conversion rate of these videos and mm -hmm. how it actually helps the company get launched? And I think most people try to do a viral video or something that's too cute, end up failing and making it viral and you know making it cute unless uh, or or ex actually explain the product unless there's a lot of resources behind it. Right. Um, I think the second problem is people try to do too much with the video. It really you know they 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 want to explain you know, what the product is, uh, they want to explain two or three use cases, they want to do a full walkthrough of all the features, and that's not the point. The point is just like, oh, I get what you do, let me try it out. And so if you, you know, if you do that, and you, you know, and then you're going through the, the features, doing a, a, just a walkthrough of the demo usually doesn't explain to them, like, what is the benefit of this product. You're showing the how, but it, it's a, it's a con it, it, they need more context than that. Yeah. They need to know, before they learn how you solve that problem, they need to know what are you solving and you know why is it important to them in the first place. And I think there are several companies that would actually have benefited, you know, some of the launches that you know maybe have uh, lost a little bit of buzz, uh, you know, just because you know it's the first product, like people just didn't get it just from using it, you know, and having a video that articulated a little more explicitly what they're looking at, what the vision is. Mm -hmm. What what's the perfect client? What what do they bring you when they have that first meeting? You know, um, I, I guess the the perfect client uh, uh, provides us with with all the information we need to know, and it's it's generally somebody who who already has a pretty good idea of of what their product does and and what they expect out of this video. Um, that certainly helps us a lot. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, we're also here to help the clients that don't. Um, uh, and I think uh, you know clients with clear visions. We can we can translate that pretty effectively. Um, but I, I think we we also specialize in in helping out the people who who need to find their way and, and still have the questions about well why do we even need a video? Um, and yeah. Now I bet some of the companies that come to you don't have even a logo because I've interviewed companies and they change their name on me and mm -hmm. yeah. they don't have a logo, they don't have uh, <laughs> business cards, yeah. you know, they haven't even figured out what their name is a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So they're sort of talking in abstract terms. Well, this thing will do this. You know, um, do you help them get to that point where they decide on the logo and the color and their their identity? Yeah. We've actually uh, there are numerous companies um, that we've designed the you know that you are familiar with whose logo we design whose color scheme whose brand we design uh, some of them as far as after we designed the video uh, asked us to redesign actually rebuild their, their site you know to a new color scheme because the video was uh, showing you know it was working successfully for them but it was framed in something that made absolutely no sense you know there's just this disconnect between the the, the, the style of the video and the rest of the site. So yeah. happens it, a lot. Yeah, and we've also had the experience of delivering a video and then the client will redesign their site to fit the video, mm -hmm. which is always very pleasant. Yeah, to. taking like icons and yeah. you know, elements that we put, you know. Uh, we had a f do you do you provide those after the video or uh, at the end of we will provide uh, some of the uh, after uh, uh, some of the illustrator and JPEGs um, but we don't release the project file itself you know the after effect files the final cut profiles uh, things that are involved in the building of the video but you know we usually have such a great relationship with the clients that we work with you know that we, it's in our interest to see them do well and see the video do well. You know, they'll become repeat clients. They'll, um, you know, it, it, especially on in, it, startups really appreciate at that startup level. You know, if you if you do that. So, um, you know, we did a video for Proximic uh, not that long ago, and they requested you know some of the assets, and we're happy to give them, and I'm looking forward to see them on the site. So, yeah. take us through some of the flying stuff, and how is that done? Because it, sure. it, it looks yeah. so cool, and it's not something you can really do with iMovie at home. No, no, not at all. Not at all. So um, basically, you know, what makes animation, at least at this level, complicated is that everything is handmade and hand drawn and created. Uh, I mean, not literally hand drawn, but uh, they, they. But in it, this case, you have a line. There is, yeah, a, yeah. Some, some of it is. Yeah. But it, it, it's created in a computer. It's something that you know, it, it's not automatically generated. And I think one of the things, for example, that we have to deal with a lot is how do we represent UIs? We don't really want to show UIs all the time because especially with startups, UIs just change. They'll change on, on a whim. 
So we have to ab abstract things a little bit. So oftentimes we'll pull elements of the UI, such as create a new account. We can rest assured that regardless of how the specific create your own account looks, it's probably going to have something of this effect. So we, it's abstracted. And then when we actually show UIs, um, something like this, uh, we want to zoom in very, very close. Let me see if and I you can. tilted it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but the, that's the, hard to do. That's not something you can do no, on your home. It, yeah, it, it requires, you know, we use mostly After Effects and Cinema 4D. Uh, but this is all recreated. It's not just a screenshot, it's created in Illustrator because we want vector graphics that allow you to zoom in into high, high level detail without ever losing resolution. Um, and it allows us to animate it as well. So um, this portion, like this, you know. Um, this is all, it's not a screenshot, it's actual recreation of the screenshot inside of Illustrator. Um, and this is from my Mint account, so these are actual, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> my actual bank numbers. Right? <laughs> 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 You'll see we make a lot of cameos in a lot of our videos, so. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. If it needs voiceover or music, we, you guys uh, take care of the licensing or? Uh, yeah, we, we, we take care of the licensing and we have a good network of, of talent that, that we use, either voice talent or actors. Sometimes when we do live action, um, we go through extensive auditions <laughs> uh, at regular intervals to, to make sure we have a lot of great talent on hand. So. Do you help people build an audio signature for the company? We, we concentrate mostly on visuals. Um, but but at the same time, we're I, I think we're we're a lot more than just a uh, great visual company. Uh, you know, I think our specialty is really in in our messaging and our care for the brand of our client, yeah. and and making each video special to that client. And, and that's something that that you know kind of distinguishes us from a lot of our competitors is is that um, our client our videos are made to serve our clients rather than using our clients to serve ourselves. Uh, and, and so each, each video is unique. Um, each one is tailored to that particular client. Yeah, you guys have a beautiful studio. This, uh, and this Thanks. is just one of the rooms. It's a, a pretty sizable studio. That helps you create really high-end videos. And, yeah. and you can work with trucks or anything. In here. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, w what it helps is like uh, having a large established you know, soundstage and, and facility helps us be able to turn around things really quickly. So it's not like, you know, oh, it's going to require live action components that we have to call the crews, find a place to shoot it, you know. Like we need, we, we need to shoot an iPhone, not a problem. You know, we have a stage, let's get the camera, turn it on, okay, we got it, all right, let's go put it into the video. Um, or if we need to shoot, you know, a testimonial or, because we do that a lot too, you know, client uh, case studies, testimonials, interviews, commercials. Um, it's much, working at Silicon Valley speed, it's much easier when you have everything internally. And you have enough space to set up green screen and do all sorts oh, yeah. of fancy right. effects, right? You can see one behind there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and actually our, our stage uh, alternates between green and white uh, on, yeah. on any given yeah. week, yeah. Where can we learn more about you and, c and contact you for uh, doing one, one for us and stuff like that? Uh, sure, uh, the company is Transvideo Studios, so you can go to transvideo.com. And uh, if you want to see more of the design and graphics videos, the, the fun site, uh, it's Picture Lab. So it's picturelab.tv. Um, and all the contact information, all the videos are there. So highly encouraged to click on the work and just Very cool. keep watching. And are you guys on Twitter or Facebook at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go to uh, at Transvideo or at Picture Lab, and you can find us there. Very cool. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.